What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hopped LA Events on Tap, episode three, covering all the awesome things happening this week in LA beer. Um, before we get started, uh, as customary uh, going forward, we're gonna crack a beer. Gary, what are we drinking? So this week, we're drinking El Segundo's Clear AF IPA. Uh, it's a collaboration with the Full Pint. Uh, I think it went out into bottles within the last week, so it's super fresh. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna crack this and give it a pour. With any good West Coast clear IPA, fresher is better. Um, and yeah, it does not get much fresher than this. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh-huh. Smells fantastic. Uh, so this past was week good. was a pretty crazy one. Um, lots of different events. We went to a few of them. Uh, but one really stood out, uh, State Brewing Company uh, previewed their tasting room opening in Gardena. What'd you think? Yeah, uh, it was a great looking tasting room. First of all, from an aesthetic point of view, uh, you know, great woodworking, very, you know, custom made furniture, uh, you know, few TVs thrown on the wall for those people that are into like watching sports uh, on the weekends uh, during their tasting room experiences. And they had a, a lot of beers on tap. Yeah, they had a full, yeah, yeah, they had a full thing 12 happening. 12 or 14 beers. So. Um, Different styles, some lagers, um, definitely some IPAs, a couple New England style, a couple West Coast. Uh, we don't have a date for the grand opening of the tasting room, not yet, but it's coming soon. Uh, we'll announce it as soon as we hear it. So stay tuned to our email and social and stuff like that, and we'll let you know. But it's definitely one to keep on your radar. Um, so we got a couple things uh, coming up Tuesday. Uh, what's happening? First off the list is Casa Agria Specialty Ale Night at Tony's Darts Away. Um, we're real big fans of Casa Agria. Huge. Uh, our parents live up at Ventura, so it's always a stop for us on the way, either to or from. Yeah. Um, great sours, uh, great hazy IPAs, if that's your deal. Just won that gold medal at GABF. Yeah. Yeah. So they're brewing some really awesome beer. And, and you never see it in LA? No. No, so uh, until Tuesday. Yeah, so so Tony's Tuesday uh, that starts at six o'clock. Um, so the next event we're gonna jump a couple days ahead. Um, uh, obviously, hopdelay.com/slash events for the full list. Um, but we're gonna jump right into Thursday uh, at eleven. Uh, so it's at Library House. They open up at eleven thirty, and they're doing their uh, first week of adult trick or treat. Um, and so really, what this means is that they're gonna be serving up really great barrel-aged beers. Uh, really rare finds, um, beers you're really not gonna see around LA too often. Yeah, some really great stuff. Uh, Library House, you know, if you've ever been there, they don't disappoint with their tap list. Really great beer. Um, next up, that same day, uh, Thursday, the October 26th, uh, that's, uh, so the next one's at 5 p.m. This is the Fieldwork Brewing Dual Location Tap Takeover at Beachwood, Seal Beach, and Long Beach. Um, Field work. Field work. Yeah. Come on, you're yeah. never gonna see these beers in LA. Yeah, you never really often see them. or yeah. at all. Yeah, and uh, and the tap list is pretty extensive too. So, double IPA is a Goza, a blonde, West Coast IPA, Golden Strong, more IPAs, a table beer, more IPAs. Um, yeah, I mean, if you like IPAs, if you like beer in general, Field Work's killing it. Um, and plus, you have two opportunities to go. Uh, if Seal Beach, which is, I guess, technically Orange County, um, and then Beachwood Long Beach is going to have it too. So um, check that out. Yeah, that's going to be a really cool one. So we wanted to give our, our Valley Brewers some love. Um, they're having a Meet the Brewers slash kind of brew off at Tipsy Cow in, uh, in Woodland Hills. Um, and this is going to be kind of a cool event because you're going you're gonna to get a chance to taste beer that they haven't even put in their tasting room yet. Um, you mentioned McLeod was going to bring a beer that they've never, like no one's ever tried this beer yeah, before. Yeah, not even in their tasting room. So each brewery, so it's not all Valley breweries, not, okay. just a handful. So we have 818, Five Threads, McLeod, Lincoln, and Hand Brewed. Each of them supposedly or each of them are bringing one IPA and then one other beer of their choice. It sounds like a good one to check out, um, especially for those who have the Valley Pride like we do. Finally, we're into Friday. Uh, we have an event at Smog City called Candy Black Friday. Um, and if you guys are plugged into the scene, it's a kind of a play on uh, Andy Black from Yorkshire uh, Brewery in Torrance. 
And basically what he's done is he's provided some of his yeast to Smog City and they are brewing three really special Halloween inspired casks of their Candy Black Mild. A little pre-Halloween celebration, um, a little toast to Andy Black who is loved around the LA beer scene. And if you like cask beer and if you like Smog City, who doesn't, um, it's definitely one to check out. Yeah. Friday. Next up, we have, uh, we're skipping over to Sunday now, and Angry Horse in Montebello, uh, great people, great beer over there, they're launching their first uh, Sunday Brunch and Brews event. So they have a relationship with uh, this really cool chef uh, named Steven Ruiz, and he's coming in, and he does a bunch of cool food and beer pairings with them. So they're doing a brunch this time, and um, it's their first one, I think, it sounds like it's going to be a series. Um, but if you're looking for an excuse to get kind of a little bit outside of the downtown LA uh, borderline, then, you know, cruise on out to Montebello. Uh, they had us at Omelet Bar. So you can't go wrong on a, on a Sunday. Uh, next up, still on Sunday, uh, later on that day, we have a uh, one-year anniversary, Aero Lodge. Congrats, um, Aero Lodge. Yeah. Nice. The one-year anniversary, it's a, it's a big deal. Yes, it is. Um, and so we want to extend our, our utmost congratulations to them. Cheers. Uh, they're going to be doing special beers, live music, food, games, uh, some some special merchandise, and they have a little kids' corner. So you know, if you're if you're towing uh, the kids around, uh, it's it's kid friendly. So yeah, nice family Sunday. Yeah. So that's um, that's at Aero Lodge. They're in Covina, and yeah, check them out if you're in the area, or even if you're not, um, they do some good work. Uh, their beer doesn't make its way to the far corners of Los Angeles all too often. So if you're looking for a new brewery that you haven't tried yet uh, to check off the list, um, this is a great opportunity to do so. They're going to have a bunch of special beers on. So that about does it for the weekly highlights. Um, as always, we want to give you guys a little bit of a preview into what's going to be happening in the next few weeks or next month, just so if there's tickets to be bought, you guys can get a jump on that stuff. Um, the first event, which really stood out for us, was the Alesmith Speedway Grand Prix at McKellar. That's happening Saturday, November 4th. Um, Gary, tell us why this is a cool event. Well, Alesmith brings this event around every year, and it's basically um, a handful of different variants on their Speedway Stout, which everybody loves. Um, so we have Speedway with nibs and beans, we have Old Fashioned Speedway with bourbon soaked oak chips, orange peel and maraschino cherries, we have Speedway with bird rock coffee, uh, a roastery in San Diego. Um, we'll see more of those, um, that'll be a good one to look forward to. What's next? Uh, coming up next is really a, a big one. Uh, this is Sour Fest 2017 at Beachwood, uh, all, uh, their, their Seal Beach location, Long Beach and the Blendery. Um, I mean, you guys. The list is so, so long, we're not even going to yeah. try here. So go to our site, check it out. Um, it's non-ticketed. Uh, uh, 150. A, I believe plus. it's a multi-day event too. Oh yeah, this 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 is uh, November seventh through it's November a whole 12th. week. So 150 plus kegs of different sour beer. Check it out. It's going to be a good one. Coming up next uh, is really a, a really cool, unique uh, series that Eagle Rock Brewery is doing uh, in terms of beer education, which you know we promote. Uh, it's always a great thing when, when you know consumers can get a little bit more in tune with how beer is made and the whole process. Um, so they're doing their next installment November 13th at 7 p.m. Uh, focusing on malt and yeast. A lot of people talk about hops and uh, rightfully so. They bring a tremendous flavor and aroma component to beer. Um, but there isn't as much attention on the malt and yeast component of things and they're really huge. So that's going to focus in on that. Then their next uh, version of the uh, of the series is going to be December hops. 11th and that'll be on hops. Yeah. yeah. So that sounds even more interesting too. So last but not least, uh, Saturday, November 18th, uh, the Rare Experience Beer Fest at Stout Hollywood. The Rare Experience, yes. This is a this is a, a an event that we promote like crazy because it's just a damn good one yeah um, it's very small it's intimate in terms of ticketing right so they don't oversell uh, it's a place where you don't have to wait in line for too long and you get access to some of the most rare and unique beers barrel age uh, sours you, you name it in all the country uh, we just the tap list was just announced um, we just added it to our website 
We have a promo code. Um, it's rare hopped two, and you're gonna get five dollars off tickets there. And it's uh, Saturday, November eighteenth. It's gonna be a really awesome festival. It always is. So check that out. Yeah, fifty dollar tickets for general admission, seventy for VIP, uh, which gets you an hour in before. Um, rare hop two yeah. promo code five dollars off. There you go. Do it. So that does it for this week for events on tap. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and, uh, and checking it out. And uh, we'll be back next week. Cheers. Cheers, guys.